If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I want to talk about some of the issues around getting Atom in Fallout 76 as I know a lot of you are affected by this and I'm very happy, including myself. Before I begin, if you enjoy this video, make sure to click on the like button. If you're new around here, then make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Fallout 76 content. Also, if you have any topics you want me to cover in a video like this one, then make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments. So then, let's get started. If you turn back the clocks a little bit to before we got the season pass in the game, we all used to get daily and weekly challenges like we do now, but instead of score points, we used to be able to earn Atom for free. Usually, you would be able to get like 50 to 100 Atoms a day, all just for completing the dailies. Now, this was perfect. We could grind out a bunch of Atoms daily, which would allow us to get like free items in the Atomic Shop, just for our time for grinding out these dailies. And it was brilliant. You get so much stuff. It was a lot better than what it is now. Now ever since we got the Fallout 76 Seasons update, these challenge rewards have been swapped out for score and now the only free atom we get is from doing the default challenges in the game like mod so many weapons, play so many camps or play the game for X amount of hours. The problem with this is half of these challenges are bugged meaning you sometimes complete them but you get no reward or sometimes you will do what it asks and it won't actually complete and it'll just stay there, unticked. Perfect example of this is the challenge Kill the Scorch Beast Queen. Pretty much every player in the game has killed the Queen, but how many of you have actually completed this challenge? Even if you kill the Queen solo in say a private server, you will not complete this challenge. Now there are other ones that do seem to work fine, or do for me at least, such as like repair so many weapons or take photos in a certain region of the map. So yes, fair enough, you can farm some at them, but the time it takes to find enough of these that work and then to complete them is a different story. Because of this, it seems that the developers are forcing it on us to like now buy at them if they want, if like we want stuff in the game. Even Fallout first players don't get enough atoms anymore to purchase most of the stuff in the atomic shop. With Fallout first, I used to be able to do daily challenges and then be comfortable to buy like two bundles a month and maybe get like a little extra cheap thing and it wouldn't require me to pull me money out my own pocket to buy things in game. Now okay, I suppose there will be some who argue that Bethesda need to make money somehow and that's fair enough, but I don't think this is the way to do it. I know a lot of people who find this really annoying and are actually considering stop playing because they disagree with this. I also know a lot of people who have cancelled their Fallout first subscriptions because of the recent updates and they're sick of Bethesda not listening to us on stuff exactly like this. I think if Bethesda truly want to make more money from this game, they need to start listening more to us guys who actually play the game. Make the game better and more enjoyable by giving us stuff that we want and ask for and people will be happier. Therefore, if you're happier to be playing the game and you're happy with what they're bringing out for the game, more people will be happier getting stuff like Fallout first or buying stuff from the Atomic Shop. Now, we have been asking for double walls since like the beginning of the game and it's now been announced that we should be getting these sometime soon. I'm not sure if they'll be coming out in tomorrow's update, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they'll be in the Atomic Shop, who knows. The reason I talk about these are is because in patch 21 it screwed over a lot of camp building tricks which made a lot of people quit the game or cancel their Fallout first subscriptions. This was how they stopped double walls although you can still do it if you use a flamethrower but you can't actually replace walls like you can't replace a doorway with a window or a window for a doorway. It's just awkward. Now because of this, I know personally, I know multiple people that actually went and cancelled the Fallout first subscriptions. I know a couple of people that's completely left the game because they love building and now the tricks and glitches that they've um, patched in that update, they've just ruined building for them. So they've decided to stop playing it. But this seems to be the only way to get Bethesda's reaction. You see people on Reddit every day suggesting very good and what seems simple stuff that would make the game better. 
but it never happens. It took Bethesda a month to fix Adrenaline, but then took two days to get a response about double walls once they started realising people were cancelling their memberships. It's not right, and people shouldn't have to do things like that to get the attention of the developers. Stuff like Adrenaline should have been fixed in the matter of, like, two days, three days. When you look at other games, if they mess something up like that, they'll bring out a hotfix a couple of days later and fix it. Yet, yeah, we had to wait a month. But it seems with every single update, they seem to do more things that aren't what the majority of players want, and the things that we do want never seem to get spoken about. So here's my ideas regarding the Atom Farming. Bring back daily Atom Challenges, even if it's a way that maybe once you hit level 100 in the score challenge, then you can start doing dailies for Atom Points as a reward. This will motivate a lot of people to grind it out even more. Currently, once you hit level 100, you still have dailies and weeklies to do, but if you do them, they just give you score, even though the score isn't counting towards anything, therefore you're just wasting your time. Another idea is, how about just adding in like one extra daily a day that rewards at them? It may be minimal, but it is something. Like, just one there, maybe it gives you 20 at them a day, something little. Maybe 50 at them, I don't know, something like that, but actually make the challenge like worthwhile and challenging rather than like eat bubblegum or kill 10 creatures. Another possible idea would be maybe each score rank you level up, you get rewarded like a small amount of at them, say 20 at them or something like that. Now, before you type in the comments, yes, I know seasons give you atoms, but it rewards you like a total of 1,350 atoms. Maybe 1,500 atoms, I don't know if you get an extra 150 when you complete level 100. But that's like over a 10 week period, maybe longer in the next season, I'm not sure how long that one's going to last yet. So if you save up all your atom for them 10 weeks from every bit of atom you get from doing the seasons, then you get like one bundle's worth. And in that 10 weeks, there's been three or Five, like three to five bundles came out in that time, but you can only afford one right at the end of it. It's, it's just not good. It's just not enough if you're wanting new items. Now there will be a small minority of people out there who are probably thinking, tough, you get what you pay for, but that's not fair. Some people aren't in a fortunate position to be able to afford to pull out and spend money on these things, on like in-game cosmetics. Some people don't like spending the money on in-game items that prefer to earn them and others will just point blankly refuse in protest because they think Bethesda's doing this just to keep taking our money. Each to their own, you play the game how you want to play it and you do exactly what you want to do to make the game enjoyable for you. All I ask is Bethesda is to consider bringing back a more beneficial method for, form for farming Atom in this game. A lot of people are missing out on some really cool stuff, whether it's for building your camps, whether it's for weapon skins, armor skins, whatever it is, a lot of people are missing out on it. Whether they do something similar to one of these ideas that I've suggested, or if they do something different, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to give you enough atom to buy everything in the store, but enough to buy some items, like we used to. All I know is a lot of people would appreciate it. At the moment, if you wanted to buy everything that was coming out each month, and if you had Fallout first on top of that, you would easily be spending like over £50 or $50 a month, whatever your currency is, it would be easily done. And that's more money than most of us actually spent on buying this game. Something needs to change, because at the minute, it's coming across like Bethesda literally are just trying to take every single penny they can get out of our pockets. But that is just my opinion. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know your exact thoughts all in the comments below. This is just how I feel and how a lot of people I speak to feel. I would like to see a change. I would like to see more of these challenges come back where we can actually grind out atomic points. Like, it would be nice. It'd be refreshing. It sucks that we have to just keep grinding and grinding for stuff. And it's not like a nice grind. It's a just annoying, constant grind. It'd be nice to see some changes and them to actually listen to us. That's all I want. I would like the voices of everyone to be heard and it would improve the game 100%. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to click on that like button if you want to help me out. And if you want to see more content from myself, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and I will catch us all next time. Bye bye.